Hello, freshmen, demons, and parents. I'm Mr. Reskovich, and I will be teaching you Earth Science this semester at uh, Golden High School. Um, this is a virtual back-to-school night um, so that you can get to know me and be better prepared, maybe, to build relationships and reach out to me um, for help or for questions or concerns. So here we go. What do you need to know about me? All right. Well, first of all, I was a Lakewood High School graduate. Don't hold that against me. Um, I've been here for eight years with Golden and I love the community. I love the, the students and my coworkers and just it's been a great time. So I am officially a demon. I'm no longer a tiger. Um, after that, I went to CSU. Uh, go Rams. I uh, did my natural science bachelor's and then I did a minor in chemistry and anatomy. Uh, had a great experience. Also did some sports up at CSU. Um, but after that, then I became a Jefferson County employee. I've been there for, been here for 24 years. First half was with the middle school. And like I said, the last eight years have been here with Golden High School Demons. Um, during all that time, of course, the things that I was really connected to was uh, playing football or coaching, you know, football, wrestling, and volleyball. Um, those are just the major ones I've done. I've done a lot of other things, but uh, other hobbies uh, that we can connect on are, I love anything water, scuba, rafting, snowboarding, which kind of includes camping also. So uh, a plethora of things. So once again, I want to be able to make connections, have something fun to talk about uh, and build relationships with. But everything that you see on the board isn't everything that makes me who I am, just like there's probably a lot more that makes you who you are. So um, whether you agree or like or are interested in any of these things, uh, reach out and we can find other things to share and talk about. I'm always like being a lifelong learner and like to learn new things. So uh, other things that kind of guide uh, what I do and how I behave, uh, values that I live by, uh, being trying to live with some honor and kindness, uh, trying to live a life with integrity, uh, being compassionate, um, honest, having a strong work, work ethic, and then of course, living with faith and hope. So hopefully those are all things that resonate with you. Um, and hopefully you will feel comfortable and safe in class and um, we can be there for each other and build relationships and hopefully you'll have a great high school experience. Um, if you have any questions or concerns on any of that, uh, my email's right there. You can also get to me uh, via the, the Golden High School website and you just click on the staff link and scroll down and then the email will also be there that you can directly connect to. So what else do you need to know? All right, well, what is this class gonna be about? Earth science. Uh, the area that's highlighted in red is what we are going to be studying first semester. What's not in red is what we're gonna most likely be doing second semester. So we're gonna start off with looking at how do we uh, observe and measure things. So learning the scientific method, learning the tools, and then look, learning the major aspects of Earth. Uh, we tend to do an inside out. So we're gonna be looking at what makes up Earth and then go through the layers and then, how, and then going into how those layers change. Uh, why they change and what impacts it has on us. And then that gets us to how do we use these things that we observe and measure um, that are on this, in this wonderful planet. Um, Big Blue Marble is the TV show I used to watch. So um, if you have, once again, if you have any questions or concerns or ideas about any of that or any connections, like if you work in these fields and you'd like to present, maybe we can find a way to have parents be involved also. That would be awesome. Um, what is something else you need to know about my class? Well. What are the expectations in the classroom right now? We are in an interesting hybrid situation. So you're going to have to be able to uh, be flexible and apply these to, am I going to be in class or am I going to be online or some kind of in-between place, right? So for materials, I always recommend a three-ring binder. I'm an old-fashioned tactile guy. I, I would rather read a book than have something on an iPad. I don't know why that is. I just like to turn the pages, I suppose. But uh, a three-ring binder, uh, paper, pencil, you know, colored pencils. We do a lot of diagrams, a lot of construction of ideas or building of like posters or, you know, making a data table, doing a graph. Uh, so I like to have those. So whether you're in class or out, it'd be good to have that material. The wired earbuds are for people that are gonna be in class uh, so that we can be self-paced a little bit. Um, we can read or listen along to a video or whatever at our own pace. Uh, if you're not gonna be in the classroom, okay, you don't really need to have them, but I still would recommend them because depending, some houses have multiple people working from home. So you might wanna have a quiet place or a way to uh, put yourself in a little bit of a bubble, right? And then of course, make sure your Chromebook is charged since we're gonna be using that. Uh, I would say 90% of what we're doing is going to be on the Chromebook and you need to make sure it's charged every day. So have that ready. Uh, to pass my class, the key thing here is to log online, to be in class. So whether it's you're online or whether you're in the classroom, you got to be here. You got to you got to be a part of the conversation. You got to be part of the interaction. That's the best way to, to be um, 
successful and to get the most out of class. And then with that also being said is attempt all the work. Um, you might not get everything. You might not understand it, but try it. Write down what you're thinking because then that, that process of getting the gears working, getting the, the wheels to turn, that's part of the learning process. So it's not going to always be easy. You're not going to understand all of it, but try everything. Trying is the big part. But then that gets us to the next thing. Passing class is a lot different than getting an A or B. So think to yourself about what you were doing on individual assignments. What are you doing to go above and beyond? How do you want to get that A or that B if that's what your, your goal is? All right. With that being said, then how do we get to that grade? Uh, looking at what we're going to be doing, um, participation, citizenship, uh, basically how are you either interacting with your, your classmates or your teacher online or how are you interacting with them in class? That's a big part of it. So the daily login and daily tasks, uh, homework, those are five point assignments. They're, they tend to be like kind of a, did you do it or not? Did you try it? And then did you participate either online or, or in class? Uh, then there will be some of the the build the build up to the experiments. Um, those will be worth more points. Quizzes are kind of like wake up calls. Uh, it's to say, hey, we've done these three things. How well did you learn them? Uh, and then that's getting you ready for the exam at the end of the unit. Um, so those are kind of how the points are going to break down for what you're going to earn throughout the semester. Uh, remember to use Campus. Um, to check your grade, to know what you have or what you're missing. But realistically, at any given moment, you probably know what you have done or haven't done. Uh, and so you can probably give yourself a pretty good estimate of what your grade is, even without doing the math. But those are the points that are available there. All right. What else do we need to know? Uh, we, as a school district and probably across the nation, are trying to move to this one-to-one. -one. It's talked about having a computer in each student's hands. And why are we doing this? Um, uh, it's just kind of where the society is going to where everything is very digital, being able to pull up information. You might not know the answers, but you should be able to get to it quickly and maneuver through different platforms to be able to find measurements and then also to verify the accuracy of whatever you're observing or whatever you're researching. So that's what we're going to be working on. So the expectations for students, um, you know, once again, log into class every day with a charge Chromebook, uh, be able to navigate different platforms. The two major ones for us will be Schoology. That's where most of our material is going to be stored. Every now and then we'll, we'll ask you to go outside of Schoology to get something or to access some information, but then always coming back to Schoology. Uh, we know you've become really good with Google Classroom. We know that because you've been doing that all during middle school. So we're now going to teach you a new platform and to be able to navigate and manage. It's kind of like, you know, maybe you were really good at Instagram and then all of a sudden you had to relearn how to do TikTok or or how to do some other current one that I'm too old to know what the new cutting edge one is. Uh, but that's what we're going to be learning. We're going to help each other learn new uh, platforms and new ways to access material and to display that material. All right. Um, I believe that's everything. If you have any questions, again, email me, call me, and we can definitely work through this. Um, what else do we need to know? All right. How can we as students or we as parents or myself as a teacher uh, support the students and what they need to be doing? Uh, being punctual is a, a lifelong skill that you definitely need to have. So whether it's online or in classroom, you got to be on time. Uh, being present, being ready to engage with others and with the materials important. And then now, of course, once you're engaging, be productive. Attempt all the work. And if you don't get something, raise your hand. Don't give up. Don't quit. You just keep plugging around because, you know, I'm sure when we were little, we didn't know how to tie our shoes. It took practice. And that's what this classroom setting is, is we learn how to engage the material here so that when we go out into the world, um, we can apply those skills that we've gained with it. All right. Um, so once again, no Schoology, no parent portal, so you can access your grades and your attendance um, and what items and where the documents are. Well, of course, we'll have videos that are going to go over how to use Schoology. I know we're going to teach you that, so be, be patient. And parents, you're going to probably want to have your own account on Schoology so that you can see what we're doing and you can get the same messages. Very much like uh, Google, uh, you can get in and, and see and hear what we're doing as needed. Um, where do we do after that? Everything else is pretty much having uh, having good family conversations and interactions at home. I mean, a lot of times you hear people say the real world. Uh, well, school is the real world. It's just here that we practice uh, observing the world around us. And then once we practice how to observe it and how to interpret it, now we go apply that when we go get jobs or when we try to use those resources out in the world uh, to be a, a helpful part of society. So encourage conversations. 
um, talk about what we're learning. Uh, the better they, they can communicate the information, the more completely they've learned the concept if they can talk to you about it. Uh, and then if things are struggling, use the resources that are available. We're going to have time after school, uh, period block four, period four, I think, period four, period eight, uh, and then also Fridays is a good time to reach out and get help, whether you've been absent or whether you're struggling with materials. So make sure you're using those resources. All right. Lastly, this is usually where if we were in the classroom, I would uh, point out to the classes and to the people and say, hey, do you have any questions or concerns? Otherwise, read through these three things. There's what guides me or what has guided me through high school, college, and my 24 years of teaching. Um, and I believe that would be it. And right about now, we'd be hearing a bell and you'd be moving from one room to the next. But it's just me. So thank you for your time and your attention. And I look forward to getting to know all of you and, and helping you have a good start to your high school career. All right. Have a great evening. Bye.